Welcome and thanks for tuning in. I wanted to share today the uh, True Love Once Upon a Time Heart Mini album that I created. Uh, the inspiration came from pairing the Chow Bella heart shaped chipboard carved pages with Stamperia's beautiful Sleeping Beauty papers and rice papers. So I started off by uh, going ahead and picking the papers from start to finish and telling the story. Um, the wonderful thing about the Stamperia papers is there's so many wonderful things to choose from. A lot of different uh, images, uh, illustrations, as well as uh, some beautiful patterning. So just uh, setting those up start to finish and how I wanted the story to play out. And you can adhere these uh, to the chipboards with, with anything. I used um, some uh, art glitter glue. Um, just had a nice adhesion for, uh, for all the scrapbook papers. And I went ahead and I wanted to put some uh, mixed media elements in there. So I was using uh, Finnevar's Art Alchemy Sparks acrylic paints. Uh, some beautiful colors. I mixed in uh, mermaid sparkle, unicorn hair, and butterfly spells and just uh, blended those while they were still wet so that they would uh, merge together. I also wanted to try some of the pigments and so um, uh, these I had some Pearl X pigments that uh, were gifted to me and so uh, I used uh, Finnevar's Art Alchemy Liquid Color Fluid Medium uh, to mix up some Duo Red Blue, Duo Green Yellow, Bronze and Red Russet uh, and then while that was still wet, blended those together on both the back and the front. I want to use the Howard Alchemy Sparks as well as the Pearless Pigments in various uh, sections through the book. So the die cuts that uh, came from Chow Bella I just had some really beautiful shapes, flowers, hearts, uh, leaves, branches, etc. So just used the um, Pearl X pigments and the Art Alchemy Sparks in certain areas to really just give it that bright pop. And then I moved on to adding some uh, mechanicals and uh, so they are all adhered with Finnevar's Art Basics Heavy Body Gel. Um, I used a uh, few gears from Tim Holt's Ideology uh, collection, as well as um, Finnevar's Mechanical Hearts Locket pendant, that was just a really beautiful pendant. Uh, found some miscellaneous items, some keys, uh, some other items that I had and trinkets uh, in my stash. And so just started to stack those and blend them a little bit to give the flat pages a little more uh, dimensionality. Several of the pieces, uh, I also used some uh, Tim Holtz Ideology Butterfly Adornments as well as um, Charm Along Word Charms by Bead Landing that were just kind of fun to put on each thing to give it a word theme as we went through. And then uh, just a quick tip is uh, I used my Copic markers to uh, find a blue that went with uh, the pages so that I uh, finished off the edges. Uh, it just gives a little more cleaner look um, and then as well as I used um, the sponge daubers to uh, go ahead and, and do the edges of the paper to give it a little more finished look as well. There were a lot of wonderful beautiful images and illustrations uh, that came with the Stamperia Sleeping Beauty scrapbook papers. So I ended up doing a lot of fussy cutting. Uh, you may or may not like to do fussy cutting, uh, but it was really fun to do to uh, add some more depth to the pages. Because I had um, those three-dimensional images, I wanted to, when you flip the page, wanted to put some paper and some, um, some cutouts, some fussy cut cutouts on top of it. Kind of blend it in so when you flip the page, you just didn't see the backs of those mechanicals. One of the pages I wanted to actually put a pocket in, so I used uh, some of the uh, papers to go ahead and cut that down. Again, inking the edge, um, using some score tape, 
uh, to peel and just stick it down, make sure it was centered. So that way it puts some different elements in the pockets. And each page I wanted to just not uh, only put the scrapbook paper down, I wanted to add additional elements. So on this uh, page I wanted to put the word dream because uh, it looked like she was sleeping of course and dreaming and then uh, that she was dreaming about meeting her true love of course. Another quick tip is I use a uh, darker pen, you can use a colored pencil, kind of draw around those shapes just to pop them out a little bit. And then I use the uh, Ranger Stickles Glitter Glue, um, both pink taffeta and goldenrod throughout the uh, project to give it a little more pop as well, as well as some glossy accents to really make some uh, areas really, really pop out. And then I adhered the uh, pages with uh, two jump rings and then uh, added some decorative ribbon on the edge to just really make it all come together. Overall, it was a super fun project to do. Uh, some wonderful uh, mixed media items, papers, and chipboards. It's just a really delight. Finally wrapping up um, on some of the three-dimensional elements, I used Finvar's Art Alchemy Metallic Waxes in rich copper, vintage gold, and old silver just to give it some more pop on those elements. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and please subscribe.